Hey YouTube, Derek here. Uh, as you see by the thing in front of you, I'm about to do some uh, farm sim. So, welcome to FS15. And we're going to get into this. And I'm about to, uh, about to do some hay. I've already cut it. And here we go. Trying to, whoa, see I forgot to turn it on. So busy about my camera, I forgot to turn it on. And here we go. I like this really big hay rake. This actually does a really good job. Unfortunately, these corners are crappy. <laughs> they just don't give you enough room to turn around. I'll do the best I can. I know I made uh, some videos before of me playing Farm Sim. They were actually recorded directly from my uh, PS4, which is what I'm playing on. Uh, right now I got my camera set up on the tripod, and it's uh, actually uh, pointed to the screen. So I apologize if uh, some of the stuff you can't see, like my money or whatever. That's just the way that I had to do it. Um, Anyway, we'll uh, get this raked up and then baled, and then uh, we'll take it in. I currently don't have any uh, any crops planted because I just did a did a harvest of corn, and by the amount that I have in my uh, my silos, I don't uh, really need to do any more right now. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, when I'm recording on the uh, the PS4, it only allows you to record for 15 minutes. Um, so I figured I'd give it a shot this way and see uh, see what it turns out like. Um, I do like the game. I played this one. I actually have a PS3 as well, and I have uh, Farm Sim 13 and Farm Sim 15, 14 or 15, whatever it is, for uh, my PS3. And then I bought out, I went out and bought this one for the PS4. Whoa, see, see what I mean by the get stuck by the rocks there? That's okay. Well, we'll push through it. You may hear a little bit of noises in the background. Um, again, it's because I am recording with my uh, my camera and uh, my boy's currently eating supper, so <laughs> you might hear him. He's trying to be quiet, which is good of him. He's being good. takes a while to get this all done. This is a, you know, I wanted to give it a try doing it with, uh, doing commentary. I know I did a little bit on the, uh, the other videos from this, from my PS4, but, uh, figured I'd try it a different way because, you know, with, especially with Farm Sim, you know, or any game for that matter, you play, um, you get into a game and like if, if you're only allowed to record 15 minutes then uh, yeah you barely do anything in the game and your recordings up so that's why I try, decided to try it this way quicker almost done here There's a little bit there I might do a little quick uh, rake of that and get that all situated. I don't know if this is even going to pick it up, but oh well. I already did uh, two fields previously before I did this. 
and got them all done. Um, my bale loading trailer currently already has already has uh, bales on it, so just do what we gotta do here. All right, fill this up. I don't need this anymore. I don't even know how clear this is. I don't know if it's, you know, really clear for you guys, but now yeah, what can you do? And as you see, the truck's dirty, of course, but as you see, I have the uh, baler hooked up to this truck, which works really well. And so I did the same here with the uh, loading wagon. I got it hooked up to the truck. So let's uh, get in here. Sure, that bale's gonna fall off. It looked like it was gonna fall off earlier. And down this, and here we go. It's bailed up. Just so you know, it's very awkward to uh, to play right now because my camera's actually in front of me, so I can kind of keep an eye on it. I gotta kind of lean to <laughs> to see the screen of the TV. I know this is kind of a weird way to record a video but of, of gaming but uh, you know it's best I can do for right now because I don't have farm sim on my um, computer I do have truck uh, American truck sim just the demo right now but I am going to buy it for my computer I really like it so I but I want to see if I can uh, get a steering wheel for it because I am absolutely no good at trying to game using the keyboard. I know there's a lot of people out there that are really good at using the keyboard for gaming, but uh, I'm not one of them. I'm, I think it's um, I'm so used to, to uh, the Sony controllers that uh, I have trouble with the other other stuff. Um, I just wish I was able to pair my uh, PS4 controller to my, to my uh, computer. That would have been awesome. But unfortunately, I don't know how. And I don't even know if there is a way to do that. I just kind of noticed in the corner there's a little bit of a light glare. There we go. Got it. I was just because my lamp was on because it's actually uh, it's actually 6:30 here, so it's dark out. So I had my lamp on, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, it gives off glare. <laughs> That's okay. My big lights are on too, but they're not giving a glare, so we're gonna leave them on. So yeah, I really like these trucks. These, uh, you know, really good. They still do uh, when you have a full load. If you turn a corner too fast, they still jackknife, slide out. But oh well, not as bad as the uh, the other ones, the man trucks. They were horrible for it. You didn't even have to be going very fast, and they would slide out. And one more row, and we're, uh, I think we pretty much got her here. And down we go. I'm not going to worry about that stuff there on my right hand side. I'm just going to leave it, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Did you even get a bail in there? Okay. This up here, this hill a little bit, back up. up. Hit, uh, last bail eject. There we go. Hold this 
this up. And I will take my, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I will take my uh, baler and that back later. So I'll get these all picked up over here beside the tractor. Take everything back to my farm afterwards. I'm actually playing the board that they added when they uh, brought out the gold edition, which this is. It's a gold edition. And I know there's actually a uh, um, a new DLC coming out with the new beet harvester, which looks really promising. Uh, on the 10th of March, it's coming out. And I'm actually looking forward to it. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but uh, irregardless, I'll, I'll probably buy it anyway. I mean, I do like the beet harvesters that are in this, but uh, moves always better. And one of the other pieces of equipment that come with it has uh, multiple attachments for the back of it, um, so that might be something different. but that's okay. We'll still pick them up and take them in. No big deal. See, even my windows are dirty. That's what they should have on these windshield wipers. <laughs> That'd be cool. But I have a pressure washer anyway, so I can do that. She's a pressure washer. See a little rickety bridge. Yeah, I like this bridge would hold these vehicles. I mean, I run my combine across that. I like it would hold that. <laughs> Especially that big New Holland. I know th this part's a little cheesy, but hey, to get it in, to, uh, to sell it, who cares? better than dropping it all on on the ground and trying to you know take one bale in at a time that's just a pain um, obviously you can't see how much money I have before I put this in I have four hundred forty one thousand eight hundred and thirty four dollars so after I take this you know, put this in and we'll see how much it changes Now at four hundred and fifty-five thousand six hundred and fifty-eight, and the bales are eight hundred and sixty-four dollars a bale. That's crazy, but I'll take it. I may try and go into the menu for you after I t finish this hay and get all my equipment back. I'm not going to bother pressure washing it. Uh, just put it away. <coughs> Pardon me. I might, uh, so I can show you how much I have in my silos, which is quite a bit. And you'll realize why I'm not really uh, going to do any planting. Simply for the fact that I've got all this storage of all this stuff, and I'm waiting for a high demand, which... For some reason, the more I find, I don't know if it's just me or anybody else has found this, the more you have in your silos, the less chances of actually getting a high demand for that there are. That's just what I've found. I could be wrong, but uh, that's just what I found. And I know that the, uh, you know, the computer is different. I'm pretty sure the computer is different. Everything's different on it. Well, eventually down the road, if I, like if I had a, <clears throat> a better 
computer. Like, I mean, I have a really good computer, but not not one that's good for gaming, obviously. Um, I would put a lot more games on it, but uh, uh, maybe in the future. I've also heard um, that the uh, for the computer you can get a, a steering wheel with controls and that for farm sim. And uh, if that's the case, then I probably would. Because from what I've also heard, um, you can use that same steering wheel setup for uh, American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim. So that'd be cool. Oops. Hit the rock, why don't I? That <laughs> looks weird with only a few bales on it. <laughs> That's interesting. I just noticed that. I'll show you that in a sec after I've dropped this stuff off. They're kind of going to need this truck. I'm going to go park him in his spot that I uh, got for him. I usually park him over here. Anything to do with the, the hay and the baling stays over here in this little shed. Now, what I was kind of saying that was weird about was I parked this trailer straight. And as you see, it's not straight anymore. I have no clue what happened, but that's just the way it loaded. And, of course, all it's asking me for here is, well, a little nudge this way. There we go. Should be able to hook onto it now. I like that. There we go. Yeah, I wonder why it did that. I wonder why it uh, went kind of kind of funny there. And I guess sometimes when you load them, maybe it's in the wrong spot or something. Just flip through my equipment here. And my little, this one I don't even drag home. The tractor I take, but the uh, this thing I don't don't generally take the rake because I just usually leave it up here. Anybody who's played this game and tried to back this thing up, it can be such a pain because, as you see, the wheels on the rake turn as well. And the little turn is way too much. But I think we got it here. Let's park it right there. Um, over there is my tether. Silage of wagon and my mower. Take this guy back. Quick corner. There's a little bit of a bump right here at the uh, beginning of this bridge up here. 
And if you're not careful, it'll, it'll bounce you right off into the water. I've had that happen. The bump is right here. Not too bad, but depending on what you're what you have, it'd be quite the mess. Right now I'm just parking my stuff in here because, you know, I don't have the beet harvester or the, the potato harvester, so I just park my tractors in here. Um, park my combines in here. But once I get some other stuff, then I probably will put them in here. Um, put the uh, sugar beets and that in there. Um, as for the um, equipment after that, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Really hope this is turning out well for you guys. Because um, if I can, you know, get it set up so it works fairly decent, then um, I'll record some more farm sim. Uh, maybe I'll make it a a once a week thing sometime or other maybe um, but I can also be able to record some of my other games like um, Assassin's Creed and maybe some uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 which I have actually completed uh, so I can kind of do the uh, I think it's called director's mode or something like that so I can just kind of mess around and don't have to worry about anything and yes I did go a little too far uh, in this guy in here. Good thing the signs are there's no no crashing on the signs. You just go right through them. Some of the trees I wish you could do that, but yeah, that's another thing I'm not getting into on uh, on this is logging. Um, I had this I had to start this bo this uh, board over again, uh, this map because I mean I had a really good map going, but I had a whole logging area set up, and for some reason it didn't like it. <laughs> it uh, Maybe didn't like how how many uh, trees I got down, or, or because I I made my own roads up through the bush to, to get to little logging areas I made. Um, maybe the computer couldn't, or the, the PS4 couldn't render it, so then uh, it just wouldn't load anymore. So so here's uh, one of my headers for my combines. There's the other one. Um, there's some combines, my trucks, my tractors, well, two of my tractors, uh, my disc, or my, my uh, plow, there's my corn headers, and I park these, these are my uh, sprayers, park them in here, that's a good little tractor, and then a beer sprayer, and another good tractor. seen where I had my hay stuff so and my you know baling stuff and here is my uh, seeding or planting stuff that one and this for my corn my discs another little other planter or sower as you want to call it whichever you want to call it This was in the, the last uh, mod thing that they allowed for, uh, they actually allowed a mod thing for, for the PS4. Uh, I guess they were winners of the mod competition or best best mods or whatever competition. So they uh, 
they had in them was mostly weights and some trailers. But this is one of the weights. I actually really like this weight. It's cool that it's got the uh, pitchfork, the broom, and the shovel. And it's made out of concrete. I think that's pretty neat. And you can still hook uh, something on the front if you wanted to. And of course, the New Holland, the dirtier and dirty. And I have spare weights here. I do have another uh, another tractor. There he is. It's kind of funny where I have them, but <laughs> there he is. I think that's one of the ones you start out with when you start this map. But uh, yeah, I don't use them. I just leave them there. So if I want to quickly get to the uh, to the um, store where you buy your equipment. It's there. So I can just tab over to it. I just think it looks cool up in the window. And now see, I just, that tractor just moved. It was not there. Okay, we'll park him here. Yeah, I found that. Sometimes the equipment and stuff moves. There's my chrome. This thing's a really good machine. I got two wagon, chrome wagons hooked behind it. I use that for getting getting my uh, silage, which I don't have any animals, and I don't plan on getting the animals because it's just too much of a hassle. So I use it at my bio biogas plant. Let's see, well, that's the one I've been taking from already. I got quite a bit, so I don't have to do that for a while either. There's my JCB. I like that loader. So, like I was saying, I was going to do for you. I don't really know if you can see that, but uh, we'll go over here now. I'm not exactly sure what uh, measure a unit or unit of measure this stuff is. Um, I'm thinking tons, but I, I don't know. But I've got over 1 million wheat. I've got uh, 424,000 in barley. I've got 1.2 million of canola. I've got 717,000 of corn. And, as, and no potatoes, no sugar beets, no wood chips. Silage, well, yeah. So, and if I go, I just wanted to get back to the board I usually do. Now, if I go here, I can save my game or whatever. I just want to check my settings, okay. Uh, Okay, so garage. All right, this is all the ones I have. I've got the same, I guess it's called same, and uh, it's uh, 190 horse. I've got this one. I really like this dude's far. It's uh, 263 horse. Um, New Holland, 435 horse. In New Holland. There's the Crone. The Crone's 1,034 horse, which is pretty cool. There's my Crone wagons. Yeah, The trucks are 462 horse. There's that little tractor. I think it's a, a Soviet tractor. It's a, oh, it's a Zetter. Okay. It's a 121 horse. There's another Zetter. I really like this tractor. It's 147 horse. JCB, which is 230 horse. So, let me go back here. And I'm going to do a quick save before I forget. So 
So anyway, I hope you liked uh, this farm sim. If you want to, uh, if you want me to do some more, I will. Um, if you want to, uh, like I said, I'm going to try a couple of my other games and uh, see how you like those. See how they turn out as well. Um, I think maybe I'll do another farm farm uh, video maybe next week or something. Maybe during this week. I'm not quite sure yet. But until then, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next time. See you for now.